Welcome to the week two update for the Josephine Wall Crystal of Enchantment picture. This week I've spent 10 hours 24 minutes making a total of 21 hours 32 minutes. Here is the progress for the end of week two. As you can see I have done um, I would say a little bit more than three quarter ways of the second row and I have started this section here as well. So there are some diamonds here. I will be able to give you a closer look in a moment. It has been the usual delight to work on. Lots of confetti in this one still. Um, nice that we can now see the iris flower and we're going into the butterfly wing. So some beautiful colors included. Still absolutely incredible to work on. Let's get a close up view now of the progress. We'll start with a close-up view of the iris flower and all of the surrounding area. You'll be able to see just how many colours are included and um, I have to say a lot of these are just one diamond placements. So yes, it is a very confetti heavy kit. Very enjoyable to do but it's very time consuming. Let's move across the canvas so we can see the side of the butterfly wing. As you can see, this side uses a lot brighter colours. So it's nice to work across and go from the subtle earthy tones into the brights. And um, here you can see with the design of the butterfly wing, it is really very beautiful. I'm going to focus in more onto this area here so you can see the symbols. So as we've now zoomed into the symbols, you can see how clear the printing is on these canvases from Diamond Painting Deutschland and just what you'd be taking on if you did purchase a Josephine wall from them. I can see here there's a crowd of bees. <laughs> I don't know what a crowd of bees are officially called. <laughs> a swarm of bees, a hive of bees. Anyway, we've got um, some letter bees here, some flags. Um, some apples, but mainly they're dotted about here, there and everywhere. Or we've got one-off symbols, a bit like this one here in this section looks like. Um, it might be an only one. Oh no, there's another one there. I've just spotted, where's it gone? There. Right there, there's another one. So that is what it is like working on these canvases. I love it, as you know, I do like confetti. And for the first time ever, I've got another work in progress on the go, which I can use my multi-placer with. So it's nice to have the two, but I do like the challenge of one of these. I will zoom back out. So now that we've zoomed out to the picture again, I want to take this opportunity to say thank you ever so much for everybody that views my channel, especially those that subscribe. I really do appreciate it. And I really do appreciate your comments, one of which was left by Tracy at the end of the week one update. In Tracy's comment, she mentioned that when she'd used this color washi tape, it had stained her canvas. So of course, I checked mine. If I peel back this washi tape, you can see it has stained mine too. So the framing idea that I had for this canvas will now not be able to be done. Look at that, wow. So I thank you, Tracy, for letting me know so I could pass that on to other people to be very aware of. If you do use washi tapes, they may well stain. It's a shame. I tried some nail polish remover to see if it would get rid of the stain. And as you can see, it did lighten it a bit, but it's really just spread it around even more. So that idea didn't work. I'm just going to think about my framing and do it in a different way this time. Thanks for joining me for this week two update. I look forward to showing you at the end of week three. Take care, everybody. Enjoy your own diamond painting. Bye for now.